The Lost Sands Adventure for Sea of Thieves is now in full swing, with pirates either helping Merrick rebuild Golden Sands to its former glory, or the Reapers to prevent such a thing happening. Personally, I'm rooting for Merrick, as I've previously mentioned. However, I won't be overly disappointed if the Reapers win, because then we will more than likely be getting a new outpost, which I'd be really, really excited for. But why would this happen, what could it look like, and where would it possibly be? Alright, so let's kick things off with why it would happen. The explanation is simple really. All of the outposts within the Sea of Thieves are strategically placed in their own parts of the world. Within each region, there are two sub-regions with an outpost in each. If we take away Golden Sands from the equation, its sub-region will become a dead zone. No one will go there and it will continue being annoying to have to divert your route to either Sanctuary or Plunder if you're sailing that way. It was fun for a bit, but at the moment, it's plainly just tedious as hell. The game was designed to have an outpost where Golden Sands currently is. If you remove it, it will seriously shake things up. Not to mention the fact they can't simply kill off all of the other characters, especially Wanda the Weaponsmith, sister to Captain Warsmith, the other Wanda. So then, if the Reapers do win and we do end up getting a new outpost, where on earth could it possibly go and what could it look like? The most obvious and coolest idea is a floating outpost. This could even be temporary as they look for a new place to rebuild a permanent outpost. But I would love the idea of a floating outpost. If it was just like a rickety raft, everything loose and quickly being built up, it would be new and really fun. The different trading companies could even be on barges that you have to board docked at different parts of the outpost. The shopkeepers could have shops on it, but then also boats at the back to add some aesthetic. The entrance to the pirate legend hideout could be similar to Galayton's grave being underwater. The whole outpost could even mimic Golden Sands' layout with one centralized structure connected to smaller ones. Having an outpost like this would make sailing a whole lot easier as well. Being able to park your boat right up to them would be so incredibly helpful. Another idea is for them to inhabit an already existing island. I'm thinking of Wanderer's Refuge. It's close to Golden Sands and it's in a sub-region. Again, it could look quite quickly erected or even might take months to fully develop. But the island's structure perfectly suits a new outpost. The tavern could be all the way at the top and the buildings along the side of the valleys and the docks where they would lead to the sea. Watching a pre-existing island develop into a brand new outpost would actually be pretty cool. Especially with an island as significant as Wanderer's Refuge, with it being home to Wander of the Dark Brethren's hideout. It would certainly take some working out to make it all look natural and perfectly fit, but it would also just genuinely be pretty cool to sail to Wanderer's Refuge in aim of selling loot, look at the peaks of it, and see a big homely-like place. Quite an ambitious idea is the shroud falling away to reveal some form of port town. I'll probably make a whole separate video on this, so let me know if that's something you want to see as I know you all absolutely loved my designing a new region, so I'd love to go in depth to the port town. But to summarise, my idea for this is essentially to have either a massive island, some form of mainland or other, and it would literally be a port town. You'd dock around all of the coast, and you'd be able to explore a bustling town that would feel and look busy. There'd be extended customization options there, new voyages, NPCs with side quests, and so much more. You'd be able to raid banks and do all sorts of piratical activities. Perhaps even on the back of it, there could be an entrance to your own pirate hideout that's instanced, a bit like the Sea of the Damned. Isla Tesora is the closest thing I compare this to, and as a set piece in a pirate's life, it was phenomenal. One of my favourite locations from the whole campaign it was. To recreate that, but bigger and better, and with features would be so cool. And to have the inhabitants of Golden Sands either build it over months, to discover it, or found it would be a really awesome thing in terms of storytelling. Sort of like, you can take away our home, but you'll never take our likelihood type of deal. The architecture of sea forts is Litosoro, and the Fort of Lost Souls is a style that I don't think anyone would complain about if they added more of. Having them stone-built gives them a feel of being more solid, sturdy, and permanent. 
It might be a far-fetched idea, but it's a cool one nonetheless. When it comes to replacing an outpost, it's obviously not as simple as just adding another, because they've got to make it work within the law. They can't just add another random island without explaining it, but hypothetically, if they did manage to think of a reason, there are many types of just standard outposts that could be explored and be really cool. One of which is a mountainous outpost. I'd love to see them experiment with elevation, and whilst Ancient Spire Outpost kind of does it, I'd love to see an outpost actually built into the side of a high up cliff face, with navigating the outpost involving going through caves, rickety bridges, as well as the actual island. The shops slash buildings could be partially cave and partially outside, with balconies looking over the Sea of Thieves, and there could also be a variety of hidden passages within. Another interesting concept for just a standard outpost is one with a proper bay. Dagatooth nearly did this, but imagine a smaller version of Smuggler's Bay, but an outpost with a bay that you can properly sail into. Something like this would make the outpost feel a lot cosier, as well as providing some cool exploration and room for more hidden secrets around the thing. Perhaps it could even be protected like a play on the C4 idea, but with cannons and high walls all around the entrance. In fact, that's actually not a bad idea, because then it would make sense. The people at Golden Sands would be even more paranoid than normal because of their recent capture, and so be building loads of defensive. It also includes the role-playing element, as you could have a massive warning bell that players can ring. It would essentially be a C4 outpost hybrid. This would be a really fun idea to explore, and also to see roleplay on you see incoming ships, you man the cannons on that outpost. That's a, not a bad idea, I'd actually quite like to see that. But overall, if we do end up getting a new place to sell our hard-earned loot in replacement for Golden Sands if the Reapers win, whatever the developers come up with, I'm sure it'll be really awesome, and it'll be a brand new concept we never even thought of, let alone seen. Anyways, that does just about bring us to the end of the video. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. I'm interested to hear what you'd like to see for a new outpost concept and what you've sort of thought of, because there's so many out there, so many possibilities that there could possibly be. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like. It helps out a ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And while you're at it, hit the bell as well. And if you want to get the extra mile, you can become a channel member to earn loads of cool rewards and perks by hitting that join button down below, starting at just a small fee a month. But anyways, apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.